Hello and welcome to the presentation for industry placements for engineering. My name is Sarah Fielding and I'm the employer placement team leader for Cambridge Regional College across both campuses. So what are industry placements? Industry placements are where students are placed in industry working two days a week. It's where you're timetabled to attend a placement two days and then you complete your study programme for three days in college. We target the students who are aged 16 to 18 and the minimum expectation for you is to complete 45 days, which is approximately 315 hours. Um, placements are to be focused on developing your practical skills and technical skills. They are to be meaningful and industry related and you will have learning objectives set by your tutor. Industry placements are timetabled for you two days a week and they are to start from October and they will continue through till June term time only. Students are required to complete a minimum of 315 hours with a placement that is meaningful, purposeful and beneficial to the students and the employer. OK, so what are the student benefits for you working in industry two days a week unpaid? Well, you will gain industry relevant experience and technical experience. It will increase your employability skills to ensure that you are work ready when you leave college, whether that's going on to an apprenticeship or full time employment. It provides opportunities for personal growth and will enable you to make informed career decisions. Um, it provides you with apprenticeship opportunities. We do have many industry placement engineering employers who make the most of the opportunity of having an industry placement student with a view that they will recruit them as their next apprentice. And it helps um, young people to develop and grow and gain valuable working relationships with employers and customers. And it will help you to increase your confidence of working within the industry. We have had a number of students who have secured full-time employment, whether that's an apprenticeship or a full-time job, as a direct result as a successful industry placement. OK, so sourcing and securing your own industry placement. We do encourage students to source and secure their own, um, basically because you know where you can get to. You might have um, family, friends or um, connections within the industry who might be able to offer you a, a placement. But we do also have a team of coordinators at Huntingdon and Cambridge who can help you. We help you prepare for applications, interviews and starting your industry placement and following you and supporting you throughout your whole journey. Um, we provide regular support in college, whether that's a one to one or drop in sessions in tutorials or just popping into the hub to find your coordinator. And um, the college will support you financially to cover weekly transport costs workwear and any PPE that you might require and for students who are entitled to free school meals you will receive payment in lieu of your placement days to cover your lunch. Okay so here's the team like I said we have a team of coordinators based at Huntingdon and Cambridge and we are here to support you all. Okay, so engineering success stories. And we had a student last year who worked for Explore Transport as their placement. They were gaining hands-on experience whilst working in the plant. And as a result of the work that they'd carried out throughout their nine month placement, they secured an apprenticeship, um, which was quite exciting because a lot of their training was carried out abroad. So that was a really great opportunity for that young person. And Global Partnerships um, is a regular employer for CRC and they regularly recruit apprentices off the back of an industry placement. So they are a really good um, employer for CRC and for our industry placements. OK, so employer experience. So we get feedback from our employers throughout the year. Um, here's just a few snippets from last year. So we really missed our student on the days that they were not in college. The student exceeded our expectations as a first line IT support technician. And we have found our next apprentice. Um, the student always arrived on time, ready for work and integrated well with our team. OK, so student experience. So again, we always ask our students for experience. Um, feedback on their experience and how their placement is going. Um, I have enjoyed working in a professional environment, gaining additional skills in the industry. My confidence has grown as a direct result of my industry placement. I have a clear insight into how a company is run whilst learning new skills alongside my college course. And I've learned how to diagnose faults and repairs on modern cars. So it's really key for you guys to get experience in industry throughout your time at college that you are work ready and able to apply for a job at the end of your course. Recently, um, myself and a colleague took three 
um, applicants to a company for an engineering apprenticeship and there was three people, a school leaver, a CRC student and a student from another college. And the first thing the employer asked all three of them at the interview, they wanted to know, what's your name and tell me the experience that you have. So out of these three students sat around the table from three different training providers, it was only the CRC student that could say off the top of the head the experience that they'd gained from their industry placement working for an employer two days a week. And we had news earlier in the week that this student was one of the um, young people who'd secured an apprenticeship. So it really, really is key. And employers do ask when you apply for job what experience you have. So it's best to make the most of this opportunity. OK, new for this year, student incentives. You can earn up to £150 in vouchers. Um, so the first voucher is for £50. So we are asking students to source their own placement and come with us in, in September with all of the information. And if you start your industry placement on or before the 12th of November, we will issue you with a £50 um, voucher of your choice. And the second £50 vouchers is when you complete 150 hours. If you complete those 150 hours by the 28th of February and you meet all of the criteria, you will be issued with your second £50 voucher. And the third and final £50 voucher will be issued to you when you've completed the minimum of 315 hours by the 24th of June. So if you meet all of those targets throughout the, your industry placement, you can earn up to £150 in vouchers as an incentive for you with your placements. 